So a little over a year ago, I decided to finally take the steps and start my YouTube channel. Uh, it's something I wanted to do for, for years at that point, and I gotta say, I'm really glad I did it. Over that past year, I've learned a lot, both from watching more videos and writing, scripting, and producing all of my own videos. I've learned a lot, and I figured I could take this opportunity to, you know, tell you about some of the things I learned. So here are five things from one year on YouTube that I learned. Number five is definitely my favorite and most important. Number one, experimentation is key. When you first start out, you probably see a lot about niching down and getting really good at a specific type of content. But how are you supposed to know what you like to make and what you don't like to make, right? So I have made not a lot of different types of content, but enough to have more of a knowledge of what I like, all right? For example, I made a New Year's resolution video where I just sat and talked to the camera. I thought the video was good in theory and execution-wise, terrible. I would never scripted out a video before and clearly I was not very good at it. But you see now, I did recently the Steel Wool photography video. That's sort of like a tutorial mixed with photography, first photography video on the page, and I loved it. I think it came out great or look at the Reddit video. I never thought I'd be a React Andy, at least not here, but uh, I did. And I happen, I actually quite like it. It did really well in the numbers. So experimentation is essential in finding what kind of content you want to produce. Number two, take the views as they come. One thing when starting out at least that I've noticed is you won't get many views outside of your friends and family that pity into watching your videos. Um, but you never know. I uploaded a video about fixing my 16 to 55 lens and I don't know, it took me like 10 minutes to make, well, 10 minutes to film. Um, and it popped off, popped off pretty well. It's 2.5 K views right now. Are those views good for the channel when that's not my content long-term? I don't know to be determined, but I made a video that was helpful for some people and I don't know. I'll take those views, you know, 2.5K, highest viewed video, makes me feel good. Bigger number, better person, I think they say. <laughs> or for example, the Reddit video. The Reddit video took me about four hours to record, edit, and post. I thought nothing of it. I posted it at like 1 a.m. and now it's sitting at nearly 500 views in about a week. You never know where the views are gonna come and you just gotta take them as they come. Number three, Plan your videos to an extent. I, like I said, did not like fully scripting out a video. I thought it didn't it didn't go well for me, right? I thought it sounded robotic. That might be me. Um, and it was my first video I've scripted. But since then, I've storyboarded and planned out videos more in depth. And the videos that I do that on, I, I think they come out better, personally. Um, and the videos I don't do that on, <laughs> especially the important ones like the the 21 while 21 video i didn't plan that at all uh and i wish i did because i think it could have been a lot better than it was so plan but don't necessarily script when starting out i think number four good enough is good enough i'm like a procrastinating perfectionist uh pp for sure i guess and my pp over the years has really hindered my performance in life, I think. You can have a lot more quality when you don't procrastinate and aren't a perfectionist about things. So good enough is good enough. When I say that, I mean, if the video is good enough to post, at least when you're starting, you know, post it. You can spend, you can spend 20 plus hours on a 10 minute video. Trust me, I have. Or you can spend four hours on a six minute video and have that one do a lot better because it's good enough for the viewers. Number five is the most important one. Consistency is easy. It comes with a little caveat. Consistency is easy when you take little steps every day to get things done. If you go back and look at my channel, my plan was to upload three videos a month, totaling to 36 videos. I clearly was nowhere near that, but in the beginning of the year, I was relatively consistent uploading a video once every other week about for a bit and then once a month 
every other month. But what I noticed is when I was uploading those videos semi consistently, it's because I did a little every day. So whether you need to have Monday be your brainstorming day, Tuesday be a scripting day, you shoot for two days to get everything that you need and then edit upload by let's say Sunday, you have it planned out, but you do something content related every single day. I think that is something I really need to think about going into 2023. Speaking of 2023, happy new year. Hope you liked the Reddit video I uploaded on, on new year's day. What's the plan? A lot of you complain that I never showed the list of 21 things for the 21 while 21 video. That's because it was poorly planned. Here are the first eight things. Suck it up, deal with it. Plan for 2023, do the six, the 21 things on that as much as I can. Make videos on those things. Make more videos. A specific number of videos? Sure. We're gonna aim for 45 videos, full length videos this year. I made the goal of 30 last year, missed it by a mile. Missed it by more than a mile, I'd say. Uh, 45 videos, that's the goal for this year. This is video number two. We'll see what happens. To the people who have been watching the videos for the past year, thank you. Uh, hopefully I can bring some more decent content in year two, grow this channel, make good videos, and maybe enjoy life. You know, I think we could all use that. Thank you. Fade to black. You guys wanna hear my best villager impression? Huh. Huh. Fire, let's go.